up everybody hope everybody's having a good weekend still this is phil again quick video this saturday evening probably the last one for tonight possibly let's take a look at this this is a john deere 4620 the canopy single wheels it, it came out with the uh, taller skinnier wheels uh, there's about that same height probably but skinnier and i added some Chuckies on the back and an air cleaner. Just did a couple things to it, but it was a early 2000s release, probably. I would say. Um, you can see them like on eBay if you search 4621/16th. Has a canopy and single wheels. Um, they are on there. Um, I got this one used, I think, and it was in pretty good shape. I just decided to uh, put some bigger wheels on the back. Pretty cool. I don't have the box or nothing. Didn't come with the box. I didn't really care about that. It lo looked in good shape, and it is. The real tractor, the John Deere 4620, was produced by John Deere from 1971 through 1972, according to tractordata.com. Total built almost 7,000 in that time frame. Original price fifteen thousand dollars in nineteen seventy two. Draw bar draw bar horsepower tested one hundred fifteen almost one hundred sixteen. PTO tested one thirty five point seven horsepower. Pretty awesome John Deere part of the twenty series. Really really cool stuff. This design is my favorite design of John Deere of all time, the 1020, the 6030. This look and design is my favorite design that John Deere's ever possessed, in my opinion. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, fenders and stuff are, <laughs> and the canopy is kind of loose there, but it's still in on there. It's just uh, a little bit loose. Um. The draw bar here is the traditional, more flat style draw bar. You see, rear end area, canopy. There was some uh, levers here inside the driver's station, and I uh, somehow I managed to accidentally tear them off. <laughs> I don't know what I did or how I did it, but I know they were there before and now they're gone. That's the driver's station. As you can see, dashboard is a metal, in, metal. it's a metal insert. It's not decal. That's pretty cool to see. John Deere yellow seat, black steering wheel. There's your classic 20 series styled hood. Looks pretty good. Got your black muffler. It was on the tractor. I added the painted the cleaner intake John Deere yellow and I added that. The decaling, of course, John Deere yellow stripe with John Deere and green out here near the grill. And then a 4620 diesel back here by the uh, driver's station here. The engine details and stuff are pretty good. It's right in the molded of the cask molded into the casting but it's pretty good detailing i thought for the engine compartment area on both sides looks really uh pretty detailed there of course you got your classic signature john deere vertical screen on either side there's the front grill very classic looking 2030 series 10 series grill stylings looks really good Front of the fenders, I failed to mention, do have some inserted lights. That's always a nice thing to see. Your stairs also on either side of the uh, tractor to, for entry to the driver's station. Underneath the tractor. The rear wheels are, like I said, wheels and tires are chuckies. They're big old fatties too, by the way. It's incredibly heavy, this tractor now, just because of this back here. It is so, so heavy. It's ridiculous. I also added a painted wheel weight John Deere green and glued it in there. On these rear tires, there are Firestones. 
Really nice looking tire though, I think. Front tires are what was on it out of the box. The classic Ertl three rib tire. And then the wheel, front wheel is the Ertl front wheel. Looks pretty good though. It's really a sharp tractor. Nice, uh, nicely done John Deere. I like that casting on that 4620. I'm, I imagine they may have used that casting prior again i'm guessing there was 4620 it came out about a year ago it had front wheel assist and big fat wheels similar to that on it i wonder if uh that's the same casting or not all right i'll do a quick comparison let's do that now all right everybody i'm back here's my john deere 4620 customized 116 scale Ertl alongside my scale models 116 scale white 2 135. And that white is a collector's edition. I don't know if I did a video on that. I don't think I have. I might have to wrangle that one down someday if I think about it. It's pretty uh, sharp white though. I always like this white with all the silver uh, decaling and stuff. That was always my favorite design of the whites as far as the decaling. They look pretty cool together, though. All right, I'll uh, move on to some quick final thoughts, and let's do that now. All right, everybody. Erta 116 scale John Deere 4620 with some little bit of customization added to it for good measure. I like how it turned out. I can't understate how heavy this tractor is now cause just because of those rear tires and wheels. Those chucky wheels are solid. I thought that was going to roll off on me. They are solid and they are heavy. They look pretty cool on this tractor, I thought. All right, everybody, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everybody that always tunes in, supports my channel. Y'all have a good evening. This is Phil. We'll talk again later.